This video is about the Dornish House Will. House Will of the Boneway built their castle near the northern entrance to the Stoneway. Their location next to the mountains puts them under the category of the Stony Dornishmen, and they have more in common with the occupants of Westeros north of the mountains than they do the rest of Dorne. House Will's arms are a black adder biting a heel on yellow, and according to George R. R. Martin, this is a nod to BBC's historical comedy, Black Adder. House Will doesn't have a lot of background, and certainly doesn't have as detailed of a history as some of the other houses, but what we do know paints an interesting family. So here's what George R. R. Martin has told us about House Will. Due to House Will's close proximity to the marches, they have spent thousands of years fighting and raiding the Stormlands and Reach, as well as other mountain lords, despite having the most in common with them. House Will also served under House Urinwood throughout history before the Martells and Nymeria successfully conquered Norn. In one story, we learn that the warrior maid named Willa from House Will joined with Yorin of Urinwood to attack Doran the Young. However, they were turned back by Doran who damned the river slain with the Dornish corpses. An unknown amount of time after that lost battle, and the creepy damning of a river with corpses, the Roynish would come to Dorne. This led to the Martells and the Roynish joining and beginning a conquest of Dorne. Opposing the Martells and the Roynish, House Will sided with House Urinwood to keep their kingdoms. However, in the end, House Will and their allies would fail to stop the Roynish and the Martells from taking over Dorne. Hundreds of years after failing to keep the Martells from conquering Dorne, a new threat would come, the Targaryens. When Aegon I led his conquest of Dorne in 4 AC, Aegon's Han, Oris Baratheon, took his own forces down the Boneway to aid in the invasion. Oris and his men would be ambushed in the Boneway, and Will of House Will, known as the Widow Lover, captured Oris and some of his men. When Aegon I, years later, finally paid for their release, House Will, before releasing the captured men, chopped off all their sword hands, so that they may never rise up against Dorne again. Understandably, Oris Baratheon would develop a grudge because of this, and finally he would get his revenge during the reign of the second Targaryen king and Aegon I's son, Aenys I. A Dornish outlaw named the Vulture King would rise up in attempt to cast down the Targaryens through rebellion. Oris Baratheon aided the Marcher Lords in bringing the Vulture King's host, and in the process was delivered Lord Walter Will, the son of the Will of Will, who had cut off Oris's hand. Oris looked at Walter Will and said, Your father took my hand. I claim yours as repayment. Oris then cut off Lord Walter's sword hand. But he didn't stop there. He then cut off Walter's other hand followed by his feet. Oris would take Lord Walter's hands and feet with him. Also during Aegon's conquest of Dorne, the Wills earned infamy. Though we don't know the exact details, we know during the last phase of the First Dornish War, when the Targaryens placed prices on the heads of the Dornish lords, that the Dornish retaliated. Horrific things were carried out by Will of House Will, whose deeds are still remembered, particularly in Fontan and Old Oak. The twisted part of me really wants to know what Will of Will did, to still be remembered hundreds of years later. After the First Dornish War and the Vulture King incident, there really isn't anything on the Wills until after the Second Dornish War that occurred in 157 AC, and in failure with the death of the Targaryen King, Darren I. When Balar I, Darren I's brother, and the next king of the Seven Kingdoms walked barefoot to Dorne to apologize and make peace, he had to pass through the Stoneway. There, Balar I found the Wills had imprisoned his cousin, Prince Aemon who had been captured at the end of the Second Dornish War. The Wills had stripped Balar's cousin naked, placed him in a cage, and dangled it over a viper-infested pit. When Balar I begged for his cousin to be released, Lord Will refused. Later, Balar I would come back with an order from the Prince of Dorne for the Wills to release Aemon. Lord Will accepted this, handed Balar I the key to Aemon's cage, and told him to free his cousin himself. Balar I entered the Viper Pit while the Wills laid wagers on Balar and his cousin. However, Aemon and Balar made it out alive, and some say the Wills' cruelty aided in their resolve. After this event, we don't have any real information until modern Westeros. We know that House Will was at the Tournament of the Hand in the first book, A Game of Thrones, as Ned Stark identifies their arms. In A Feast for Crows, the Prince of Dorne, Doran, uses the Wills to delay Sir Swan, a Kingsguard, who was bringing the mountain's head. The Wills delay him for eight days by taking him hunting and hawking. Finally, in A Dance with Dragons, when King Tom and Baratheon is toasted, we see the members of House Will refuse to join the toast, making us assume House Will isn't too impressed or happy with the rule of Tommen. So that is all we have on House Will of the Boneway, yet another spicy Dornish house. 
We are finishing up Doran hopefully by the end of this month. If you want to vote on which house slash region we do next, please click the link in the description below. And if you want more Game of Thrones videos and little bites, check out Quicklore's channel. Bonus, you get to hear about Game of Thrones by someone with an awesome Australian accent. Finally, giveaway winner announcement. This week is Queen's Age 77 or Queen Sage 77. You will be getting a message in your inbox soon, so keep a lookout. If you didn't win this week, I still have other posters to give away, and then we'll switch to other giveaway prizes after that.